All right, what's going on, family? Let's go. This is B from Kongs R Us. Who do we got here? What's up, Bobby? What's going on, man? It's to die for mods. Y'all ready for part two? Yeah, that's right. That's part right, two. We're back at it right now. So yeah, yeah. So we're okay. live casting both on to die for channel and with uh, Kongs R Us and with Arcade Brigade also in the house. We got Facebook. We got a little bit of YouTube going on. Yeah. Bobby, tell them what we're gonna do today. Or before I do anything, Ron Flower. Look, I'm wearing your shirt, you guys. Ron, there it is. Ron Fowler, okay. I wear it, make it up to you for the last stream. Okay, before I start, I want to give a huge shout out to Ali Link Linky for this awesome. You guys see this? You guys recognize this? Huh? Yeah, yes. that's the pixels. That's the pixel K. That's what we teased yes. them up in the thumbnail. Okay, so you're right gonna now we're going to show uh, Al, if you're watching, uh, we're going to show a little a little bit of video of Al Linky of the pixel K in progress. But so I picked this. This is perfect for uh, a um, big box build. They also support for big box. So, which is awesome news. I will be putting this on the. Um, on the race cage, Bong uh, Kong's race cage, coming up, it will be on the uh, on the cab. So, awesome. Mr. D. So this will be different. So Al Link, thank you, thank you very much for this. I appreciate that. Okay, so yeah. we're gonna collab with Al Linky too. So Al Linky is also included on this collaboration. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff going on on this too. So I'll I'll just uh, show a little bit about uh, you know Pixelcade while you get set up, just so for folks that don't know what Pixelcade is. Uh, so Pixelcade is this. So this is the Pixelcade website from Al and his team that does great work. They put together an LED marquee that looks retro. So if you haven't seen this before, check it out. Go to this Pixelcade.org website. He has tons of videos on here that showcases what he takes with mostly the main art images that you would see and then translate them to this awesome led marquee here so there's been a couple little uh you know a couple months of coverage already from you know glenn did a coverage on this i think uh you know some other folks did a a video on what pixel k does so definitely check that out check out al's website um, once we get it going i'm really curious about how his led marquee works with some of the newer arcade roms and things set up so i know there's a lot of art that works with you know the standard main setup but we're going to be running techno pair we're going to be running model three games on here um so definitely if we can connect with al i'd love to to see how those types of games run with this because i've never used the pixel k before um yeah. and like there's tons of stuff on here and i guess obviously the classics are going to look great on here but i want to see initial d and what initial d looks like on a pixel k so if anybody's oh, more familiar awesome. with it yeah yeah right let's get the trueno in a pixel k yeah. format um, so we got to ask him if it's, uh, I know there's a program that uh, translates the stock image into the LED pixel art image. Um, so we'll have to see if we can make our own designs if we need to. So I'm going to have to do some research. If I'm the software guy, Bobby, if I'm the guy that's doing the big box build, I Ooh, have the marquees my boy already set up. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I, have the, I have the marquee set up in big box, but I, I don't know if it's going to be working directly with this. But I'm excited to try this out yeah, and uh, yeah, uh, work it out. I spoke to Al Linky. Um, He's a also support for a uh, big box. So yes, yeah. He also had a fix for some scrolling issues. So we we mm -hmm. have all the updates for, for that. Yeah. So I mean the the big box is super easy to do an LED marquee. So I mean that's a simple setting that we'll showcase a little bit later on. Once we finish this build and we get into the software side, you know, I definitely will jump in and do a live tutorial on how we set that up in the system. So um, this is just a little preview about what we're doing. So check that out. Check out Al's website for the Pixel Cade. Uh, he does fantastic stuff. I'll leave a link in the description to the Pixel Kate as well, so you guys can Al check that out. Al thank you. This is awesome. I can't wait to put this on a racing cage for the first time. Nobody ever done this on a racing cab, so this will be great. <laughs> yeah, yeah we good. see those on multi cades. Yeah, yes. looks beautiful. So before we do expansion, I want y'all to know I measure this. This is a lot longer than a, this. This is a twenty-seven inch. So this is a lot longer. I already analyzed how I'm gonna mount this. There is holes here on the corner. You all can see this, okay? I already got an idea how to mount this on a cab. So I'll show y'all later. I'm a custom um, custom built a mount just for this. It's pretty easy and simple. 
took me a while to figure it out, but I got this. Kong hasn't known this yet. He asked me how, but I will show Kong later. So, yeah, guys, like always, I bought this for 20 bucks. 27 yen. This monitor is worth about what, 500 bucks on eBay. Remember you check out yeah. Kong? You yeah, said, yeah. Oh, yeah. also, Kong sent me the link for the power cord. Believe it or not, the power cord costs more than this damn monitor that I bought. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. $20 monitor, and this is fully HD quality. I don't know y'all can see this model number here. I never heard of this monitor before, but mm -hmm. it is pretty heavy and sturdy. So today, I'm going to show you, I'm going to gut this out before we do expansion. It's very important. You need to cut the monitor out and do the measurement, plus the pixel case. The pixel case is a lot wider. So I'm going to do the measurement of the pixel case. Even though if this wider, I can make custom border here, top and bottom. So usually I do like um, bezel on the side will be bezel-less. So now I'm going to have to have bezel-less because of this. So I'll be adding bezel about an inch, about three inch. This is 27 inch. So this is longer than 27 inch. So I'm probably going to be doing about maybe an inch, a half an inch on each side, or maybe an inch on each side for to add bezel. So basically the bezel is going to be like this. The reason why I'm going to gut this out because this has a little gap between the monitors, between the, the black borders and the monitor, it has a, it's like a, a quarter of an inch gap. I hate it. So if I'm going to, if I'm not going to, um, Got this out you're gonna have like a little gap between the monitors and uh the plexiglass and that's gonna look ugly i like i like my nice plus blends right in okay let's get started so first time i'm gonna figure it out got this oh 27 this is a 27 inch so for the correct measurement remember guys you don't measure this way you know, that shows a lot of people measure this from the border to the border. That's about almost 26 inch. The correct way is from the edge of the monitor screen, screen only. It needs to be the screen, okay? Exactly 27 inch. So you got to measure from diagonal, from left to top, screen only. Do not measure from the border because it ends up being 30 inch. And that is the correct up you know you try to tell the monitor it's the wrong measurement so the correct measurement is from the edge to the edge screen only it's 27 inch so i have the exact screen size which is 27 inch so for better game experience bigger or better bigger better like they say big is best uh, size does matter. Hey, we got we got we got 27 people here watching Bobby already. So for those that are just joining, what we're doing today is part two of our initial D outrun mod. And so Bobby is going to be decasing a 27 inch monitor, showing you guys, like if you want to install a monitor into an arcade one up, you don't have to buy the big mounts on the back, you know, and try to use the VESA kind of like display things. He's going to gut it and then show you how to put it into a custom frame. So it's really flush. Um, so what's up Kilroy? What's up Stephen Cartwright, Chris? Fat Toy, uh, Scott J, you guys are all yeah, here with us. So We're also you streaming me. live on Arcade Brigade as well. But that's the plan. Hopefully, we can get enough done in two hours where he guts this, shows you how to get it done. And we just mentioned the Pixel Cade. So in order to get it in, you know, the, the width of a standard Arcade 1UP cabinet is only about, you know, nine, 19 inches or so across, right? And so in order to fit that screen, he has to make all custom crossbar supports. And so once we finish the cab, monitor and he shows how big it's going to go then we'll be able to create the uh, custom size supports too so uh widening and arcade went up you know if you like the design uh but are always like oh i wish that that monitor was a little bit bigger uh bobby's one of the few that i know that likes to expand it way bigger than the actual stock cap so he's doing the 27 inch that's going on i cannot stand 17 inch monitor <laughs> i'll be, be playing racing like this like, like what i can't see what is that you know come on now yeah Nowadays, who plays small monitors? Small, tiny inch monitors. Come on, who, come on, come on. who plays that? Come on now. Hey, yeah. right? what's up, Dragon Gamer? Hey, Chris. Okay, hey, what's okay. the what's the brand? I, I love what's the brand, Bobby? product. I love RK Brand product. They're they awesome. Their design is awesome. Everything is perfect except the monitor. RK One Up, John D, if you're listening, 
Come on, step up your game. All other companies, are the big guys, all the other guys are 19 inch monitor. So 19 will be a okay, just okay, decent, but 20 will be best. <laughs> so this is is a uh, what this brand? Is, I don't know what what brand is this? What is this? I never have seen this brand. Show them on a YouTube. I mean uh, on eBay. This okay. is about like 500 bucks on eBay, or maybe more. I'm not I, even sure. Maybe can less. you see the can you Pick see the logo on else. the back? What's the model number in yeah. the back? Can you see it? Uh, it's a license number model. Yeah, the model is right here. It's a Wasabi Mango QHD. Want me to read it to you? Yeah, let's read it out. Okay, it's, it's a Wasabi Mango QHD 275. QHD 75. Dual HDMI. Yes. All right, QHD so we'll look that up. QHD dual HDMI. I'll try to do some research and see if I can get the specs of the monitor up there so you guys can see it. Wasabi, what's going on? Hey, what's up, the Rexer Show? We got Chris, uh, we got Atran Fanatic as well. Thanks for joining, guys. All right, so he's going to yes. be getting to work, okay, getting guys. that done. Yes, I'm gutting this baby out. Make sure you have a nice cushion on the bottom. You don't want to scratch your monitor. Okay. That's the great thing about Using watching Bobby Mod. Picked it up at a Bobby modding yes. is so like comfy and cozy. What? He's just sitting on the floor. He has his nice little blanket there. Yeah. And uh, he has his lucky blanket. Where's your lucky blanket, Bobby? What's the lucky blanket? Oh, it's in a washer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, okay, okay let's see. Okay, now they gotta be careful on how to take this out. Okay, this is pretty big and this thing is really, really heavy. Let me see, am I missing another screw? Oh yeah, see that? I'm missing more screws right here. That's the reason why I didn't go out. Yeah, the Rexer show. Okay. So uh, what Bobby's doing, he's not putting the 27 inch monitor directly in the stock RK one up. So uh, in our first video um, that we did last, I think just on Saturday, if you missed part one, Bobby traced my arcade one up cabinet, the frame of it, and cut out his own frame of an arcade one up style monitor. So Bobby's the best at, you know, the, the duplication king, if you will. <laughs> so it's an arcade oh, one up yes. outrun style yeah. cab, but he's going to be making his own kind of frame for it. So it, it definitely wouldn't fit inside of a stock one unless you did your own widening. Uh, but the, the plan is to have uh, Encore do the custom art. And then I'm going to be doing the big box build for it. So this is just a nice little fun project. So this will be a several part series for us to kind of watch Bobby from beginning to end. If you are interested in building your own arcade one up, this is the guy to be watching. So I mean, it's a long tutorial series, if you will. But um, I'm providing color commentary on you know what Bobby's doing. But it's cool to see him at work, right? So everything, every part of the process takes a lot of time, and he has so much like tips and tricks that we don't want to that we don't know about. So Bobby's. Uh, you know, sharing sharing all the the tips, if you will. So, that's the plan. Yes, that's right. I'm sharing all my. I'm sharing you guys all my secrets. Okay. Yeah. So I'm trying to figure it out right here. How am I? How am I gonna open this monitor with this? Okay, I, I think I got it. Uh, okay. Okay. I think you have to open it the front. Going up to the front. Be very careful, guys. See, so I got the frame out. The front border. Remember, use this flat screwdriver to leverage the little lock. This is a little lock. You don't want to force it. You just want to, you know, nice and easy. You don't want to crack the screen. I've seen guys crack screen. See this? Here's, a, here's an example. See, now I'm expanding. I'm using um, our Linky, um, the Marquis, Pixel K, the Pixel. Uh, yeah. Okay, Pixel K is it called Pixel K? Yep. So I will I will have bezel on mine. Look at this beast. Did you find it, Carl? No. Uh, yeah. Somebody was saying they found it and it looks like an expensive monitor. So I'll do a quick search right now. So wasabi mango. Twenty dollars, guys. Stop <laughs> around. Okay. Look, there's screws around here on the on a on a on a uh, metal bracket mount. So that's the reason why I couldn't open it. So usually all monitors, you got to open from the front. You got to decase it, take it out from the front. So we're going to do step by step slowly. 
to expand this. All right. Do I miss anything else? Okay, I now I want to flip upside down. I save all my screws. See all the screws? I throw nothing away. I reuse them. Okay, let's try to take this. Okay, something is stuck, right? Look, something is stuck. Now I have to look. What is it holding it up? Oh, guess what? Guess what, guys? What's up? You cannot decase this. You see this? What's going on? So I'm going to have to use the, the whole thing. Yes, I'm going to have to use the whole thing. Because this is different. You see this? This uh, this uh, computer chipboard here? Yeah. It's on the top. So I have to put it back, everything back to normal. So I cannot decase this. But you before, I, before I do anything, I'm going to take this, this little piece out. Do you know that you're decasing a five hundred dollar monitor? But I think this way <laughs> I don't want to yank it too hard. You see this? I don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe I can. Maybe I can unscrew. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna decase. It's too, too risky to decase everything. You have to do like gluing all that. No, it's too much trouble. Okay. I'm gonna try to yeah. figure out how to get this thing out of the way. I just looked it up on eBay, guys. Let me uh, let me showcase my screen and show you guys the monitor that Bobby's using. You guys ready to see this? Twenty dollar. He bought this for twenty dollars. You guys see this? Are you guys seeing this? Let me see if I can get this bigger. This is the Wasabi Mango QHD 275 Universal LED. Five hundred dollars on eBay right now. This is the monitor that Bobby's playing with right now. But you got it for 20 bucks. I don't know if it's the exact same. It, it looks like the yeah. same one that you're using. But man, look at the resolution on this. This is, uh, you know, it's, uh, 16 by 9 oh, okay, IPS. Will, will 256 by 1440. So it's better than 1080p, man. So you got, you know, better than 2K resolution. Um, man, Ooh, that's. This will be a bad deal. <laughs> that's a bad monitor, man. Look at that. I forgot that. I forgot how much believe, money this cost. Believe it or not. Believe it or not, Kong. Remember, I I, I Facetime you when I picked this up when we picked up a yeah. bunch of that PC. Yeah. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah. This is the yeah. monitor. Remember? This is the monitor I told you about. Yeah. Maybe this is the this is the yeah. one. So. Actually, yes. uh, be calm. Witness this when I go pick it up. Or like you know when I go pick up the PC. So, okay, I'm gonna put it back the way it's supposed to be. Okay, I'm gonna put it back. So this is. No way you can decase this. This is a very tough one. This is this is not a Dell monitor. Forget about it. it ain't easy, okay? <laughs> it's totally different. Yes. So luckily, I kept all my screw and organized it. And now I remember what screws goes to what. You got to keep track. You got to keep track. Uh, so we got some people from Facebook yeah. here. Scoonies in the house. He's saying. Hey, what's up, Scoonie? And cheers. Boy, Scoonie! You got Adrian Mitchell and Asa Kande saying hello. Got the master at work. Oh, Adrian, Boomba Clod. Boomba Clod, that's what he said. You, Adrian. And then you got your boy yeah, Adam Kalb is in the house too. What's that? What does that mean? What hey, is this? Adam. What does this hey, mean? Up, what does this mean? Boom, Boomba Clart. Is there a story behind this? I don't know what it means. What is it? <laughs> that means. That means. That means in Jamaica. That means. That means. Um. That means mother flower. <laughs> Uh, Bobby's universal, man. His appeal is universal. He got people in Israel that loves him. You got Jamaican, Jamaican, man. You're all, you're worldwide, man. You are worldwide. That's awesome. Very cool. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, now I, okay, now I decase this. Now I'm going to put it back the way it's supposed to be. All right. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty easy and simple. I got to make sure it's the right direction. This is the top, all right? So luckily, this is a snap on. You know how you, it's a snap on. So I'm gonna put it back the way it's supposed to be. All right, we're we're up to 40, 45 folks that are joining in. So if you're just joining the stream, uh, we are uh, modding a an outrun style cabinet that Bobby already cut up the last time, but he's taking apart a five hundred dollar monitor that he picked up for twenty bucks. It's a Wasabi Mango QHD uh, twenty seven five, I think, monitor that we just looked up. So. Uh, we took it apart. Didn't look like he could decase it like he normally does. So with the tell yeah. what you do normally with the Dell 
if this was like a Dell monitor that you would normally open up, like what what why do you decase it? What do you what do you what is that process? Why do you do that for instead of just slapping it into the for cabinet? for one RK one up? Okay, the cabinet is very fragile. You want to decase it to line it up, so that way it's not too heavy to pull down the cabinet and the wood is it's pressed wood. It's cheap wood. So the more the lighter the weight, the better it is for your monitor to mount and the less hassle. So that way it won't fall apart. And to customize, to fit in a 20 inch monitor into a RK one up stock uh, um, monitor frame. That's, that is a trick. I put this upside down. So I might just open it back up. Pretty easy. So it's go this way, uh, go this way. Uh, now that should be correct. So this is a snap on. So before I do anything, since I got it out, right, I'm gonna have to test it again, make sure there's power. Gotta test you guys it. You know what I mean? I pull all the screw back. Gamer Stan says he found uh, two. I don't know. Quack Lee, you watching? <laughs> Man, finding deals today. Gamer Quack Stan Lee, says he watching? found. Test the... your monitor before you do anything. Uh, that's funny. Gamer Stan found two Dell FPBs for 20 bucks today. So congratulations on your master find. That was awesome. Um, wow, nice, nice, very nice. Nice pickup. That's, that is so right. awesome. And Bobby, Gamer we were Stan, talking earlier, a AZ Lambo Dreaming yeah. was saying that, uh, how much is this mod costing you? We're like, are we keeping track yet? What, what was that? Are we keeping track of how much this mod is costing you? That's what yes, one of the yes. folks was asking. Um, for every uh, video that we're doing live, I'm telling you guys the price. So if I lost, if I lose track, I'll watch, re watch the video and, and keep track of how much the price. So this monitor cost me 20 bucks. And the power cord, I can't remember. I think between, I think it's almost like $30 for that power, for the right power cord. So um, screw it in. For some reason, I I'm not sure this is the, the correct screw hole. Okay, this is the one here. I'm using the wrong screw. It's not going in correctly. All right, you gotta put it back in. So now I'm about to live with a little gap between between the plexiglass and the monitor. I don't like the gap, but you know, when you play the game, I don't think you you know you can. You won't. You're not gonna. Realize that when doing during gameplay, but like I say, for racing gameplay experience, you do not want to go 17 inch monitor. You're gonna go blind. Your eyes gonna hurt like really bad. Cause focusing on that little tiny screen. Oh hell no, that's not me. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna you make I'm gonna make Bobby big again. Bobby wants to see everything while he's driving. I mean, and there's so many things that you could do. I mean, like if you're like um, if you're building a racing cab, like you could have like a big, big, big giant bucket seat. Um, you could have it on a widescreen monitor, like as well. But there's something about having like a dedicated cab, a racing cab. Like I get that question so much. I think in recent last week, it's like if you have the skills to build your own cabinet, why don't you build like a giant full size cabinet? Like Bobby, like what do you say to folks that are always asking? Like since you have the That's skills easy. and the tools, yeah. Why why do you do why do you keep one up style stuff in your house? I tell you guys. Okay, if you're gonna use a a one up, first you save a lot of time. Okay, second, a lot of people do not have the skill to cut wood and all that. Mm -hmm. If you can find for cheap on Facebook Market for the RK one cab, it's already there, pre built for you. All you have to do is just add monitors and ready to roll. Okay, for second option, you can always duplicate it and make it at full size. Mm -hmm. Easy, just trace them, follow my tutorial. You save a lot of money for twenty dollars, can build you a full size cab. I guarantee you that 46 by 97 or 98 for 1999 half MDF. So nice. I can go either way. I can build a full size. I can build a small. A lot of people don't have room. So an RK one of size is a decent size to add, add more stuff and more different artwork with different size. If you get a big cab, what? You're going to have like a what? Eight cabs in your regular size room instead of like 15. So it's, it's all, it's all up to the, depends on the people, what they want, you know? It depends. It all, it all depends. You can't. You just can't go by by one person and say, "Why can't exactly. you do a full size cab space?" Yep. 
it's space. You know, makes sense. You need room. Makes sense. All right. So for some so people, easiest route, easiest route, you can buy a used cab, okay, for cheap, sixty, seventy dollars. Use that. You save yourself a lot of time building it. Building it, it will any anyway cost you more. If you don't know how to do the woodworking, then it's a, it's a lot of work, and uh, you might mess it up, and it it and it and I'm costing you more time instead of making it quick. So I plug it back on. Hopefully there's power. Let's see. We got power. Take it out. I didn't mess anything up. We got I power. Got okay. Awesome. See that? I got a, I got a special we guest that's power. playing us okay. too. Now, I got a flurkin in the house. Say hello, Maxi. We got a flurkin. I know some people are like interested in seeing the cat. There he is. He just woo! climbs up into my lap what's all the up, time. Little kitty. I know you had a little puppy over there too, Bobby. I know she's okay. going to come and grab you. As y'all know, this is a very, very good quality monitor for twenty dollar. Shop mm -hmm. around, guys. This is, I got very lucky. This was just laying around like trash. Like I say, one man's trash, my one man's trash, another man's treasure. Good pickup, okay? Yep. So it would cost me for two cab. I I just made a two cab, so it cost me forty dollars to make uh, to build a two cab. One for me and one for Encore. So me and Encore will have a two different design, but it will be initial D. Okay, now expanding time. I'm gonna use this as a measurement. You see this? So I'm gonna take this outside. Let me bring, let me bring the camera. So Kong, you could entertain uh, our guests while I'll set this camera outside and uh, you know start doing some measurements. Okay. I'll All right, right sounds good. Take your mobile with you if you can. So we got a couple cameras set up for Bobby to yes. to move around yes. the house. Um, so we want to give you the best angles we can. Look at Bobby's feet. We always got to get Bobby's feet in some pictures. If that's a little inside joke, if you ever see his feet, look at those. Mm. <laughs> hey, where's uh, where's Lee? He wants to see my feet all the time. <laughs> I know. Always wants to see your feet. That's so funny. All right, we got a couple of comments in here too. We got some. Uh, oh, I'm missing the feet. <laughs> uh, gamers, Dan. I'll show you guys yep. see this later. Oh yeah. Look at that. I'll show you about see. the paint. What I use. Okay. Yeah. Get a setup. Get a setup. Let me set it up. Gamer Stan, you oh, asked me. It's ready to roll. It's just... You sent me a message on Facebook about computers. Yeah. I I did see that. I didn't get a chance to respond. So you sent me two computers. I did. They look like Dell 3020s. Um. So if uh, if you haven't checked that out yet on my channel, I have a couple of videos where I go over basic PC specs and what I recommend for budget builds. Um. It's like a six minute video that has three different options. So with just looking at the outside of it, I really can't tell. So you need to send over the specs or check out that video and you can see all the specs that I recommend. So if you're going to be putting together a budget PC, look for a used Dell like on, on Facebook Marketplace offer up and then look for the cheapest graphics card you can. Like I always recommend the GT 1030 is the lowest one that I've experienced using. Um, and if you if you're looking at no, another he wants to play graphics uh, card, PS3. Yeah, then you might need a 1650 or something else. But look for a graphics card and compare it with the 1650, and then you guys can see the difference in the ranges of what's going on. So PCs Gamer are all Gamer different. Stan, yeah. Gamer, Gamer Stan wants I, to play PS3 games, so it's gonna need yeah. a higher, higher, higher graphic card for that. Gonna need that higher graphic uh, card. Yeah, 1050 is not gonna work. I tried it. It, 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 it was laggy. Yep, that sounds yeah, good. So 1050. All right, so AZ Lambo Dreamin oh, asked, where like. can I get graphics for a full-size cab from? I mean, so there's a lot of other art folks that, that you can get graphics from in the community. I know we've used RK Graphics before. Uh, uh, Gulf Coast uh, Graphics are the two places that I that I know of that do good size stuff, uh, Escape Pod. Um, so I mean, those are all the places that you can get graphics from. So I highly recommend you know checking out their sites and seeing what works for you. Um, but they do both A1 up and full-size stuff as far as I can see. Cool. You see that? Um, Yep, we got you set up outside. We're moving out. All right, we got okay. about 40, 40 people on stream feet? right now checking out. Yes. So, Al, thank you. So, I'm going to use this as a measurement. So, this is, this is going to be my expansion right here. So, you want a perfect to fit your mark for this, um, what is it, case? Pistol case? Mm -hmm. Yes, pistol case. Thanks, Al. So, I'm going to use that as a measure. I'm going to get my wood, okay? I'll be right back. All right. So while Bobby's out there, um, we got a couple of folks that are asking about pinball. Right. So uh, Bobby's also done kind of a, a couple of pinball mods before. He has his toy shock. He has a full size virtual pinball cab in his house before. I don't know if you, it's been a while since you probably showcased that, but that's pretty awesome. 
But uh, did you get in on the At Games pre-order, Bobby? Tell him what you did. Did you did you order the At Games one or what? Can you walk around? Can you still hear me? I had to do it three times. I had to do it three. Yeah, I can still hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Can you hear me? Yep, we can hear you. Okay. I had to order it three times on my third try. I had to enter my UUID because that game wasn't specific enough to enter your UUID into the discount code with a oh, drop down okay. bar. So they updated the website and now they now this is enter your UI, user ID. UUID is called a user ID. So that mm -hmm. shows that you, you're a 1.0 owner, original owner. So that way you, the first batch or the 1.0 owner will get it first. Yep. And now um, after that, then that two, and then that 2.0 and, and so on and the, and the third and the third and second and third. Let me get the wood. Oh. What? Oh, I want you. I want to show you guys something. I want to show y'all something. Okay, let me flip this camera around. All right. About how I paint it and what I use. Okay, let's see. Setting camera. Let me turn it back. Hey, Bobby. Somebody's what? Somebody's asking. What did you just ex exhale? <laughs> Okay, guys, check it out. I this is what I use. Uh, he didn't hear me. Flat, flat black. What I use? I uh, I use um, uh, cluster. What do you vanilla cluster. What do you, what do you smoke? Uh, <laughs> nice. Vanilla, vanilla, <laughs> vanilla, vanilla cluster. Okay. Yeah. This yum. what I use. Here it is. Okay. So I sand it down, nice and smooth. It's very smooth. Okay. This side no need because artwork can go this side. You can get it dirty as all they want. I'll sand it down later to clean it up. Mm -hmm. So this is either one. One is for uh, Encore and one is mine. So it's exact duplication. I also did uh, the sit down seats, but I'll show you that later. Okay. So that's why I did. So this is done. Now I'm going to do expansion today. I'm going to use this as my measurements to be exact size measurements. Okay. Let me flip this camera around. Uh, more boy, this thing you gotta do all this. Why can't it be in the front and in the front of the office? You gotta go into things too much work. Okay, now instead of me using a ruler to get the, um, the perfect like inches and all that, no, nah, I'm gonna take a shortcut. I'm gonna use this as measurement. Okay, I'm gonna use this as measurement, guys. I've been sitting down analyzing this. So I got spare wood. I got lots of spare wood. Plenty of spare wood. Here's my spare wood. So RK One Up has three three support panels, which is KK and L. Is that KK and L or what? KK, two K and one so. L? Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to have to do 2K, 1L right here. This is a perfect size measurement. I'm going to measure this right here. All I do is just one, and then once I'm done with one, I duplicate the others. Okay. So I'm going to make three, two, 3K panel. So which is this one here? Let me go grab it. Is it here? No. <clears throat> All right, while well, he's getting stuff out there, for folks that may have just been joining in, uh, we were attempting to open up the 27-inch monitor earlier inside Bobby's house, but uh, it was a little bit more complicated for a, a, a giant $500 monitor that he picked up for 20 bucks. I still can't believe it now that I saw that one more time. Um, but now he's going to be expanding the cab itself, and so he's going to be using some more MDF, cutting it out. Uh, the Pixel Kate that you see there is uh, kind of a really awesome LED marquee. Uh, made by the Pixel Pixel Kate guys. Um, I shared a link in the description so you guys can check them out. But I'm really curious to see what modern game marquees look like on the Pixel Kate. So we're gonna have to test it out in a little bit once we get it. Y'all remember right. this? Yep. Where's my camera is the way around? Okay. Y'all remember this? Yep. All right. So I wanna make three of this into the size of this. You gotta get the picture. The size of this. I like to get the a lead pencil. So I'm gonna measure this 
it has a little bump here, so it's hard for me to go exactly. So right here is good. Got to make sure it's nice and straight. I'm going to mark it right there. And then I'm going to mark this. This is this will be the expansion right here. So I use this as a ruler. Look, why not, right? To, to strain it up. Okay, now I can make two pieces out of this. One, two. I can make two pieces out of this. So let me get my ruler just in case. My tape measure. Just in case. Just in case. This one hits uh, 27 inch. Oh, wow. That's 27 inch? What the? On the dot. On the dot. 27 inch on the dot. See? Right here, I'm short. Luckily, I measure it. I'm short, so I had to do 27 inch. I'm like a hair short away, so I'm good. So 27 inch, 27 inch there, and 27 inch here. So this is the front panel part that you're widening out, Bobby? The, the K panel. So the K and L panels are like, if you're building an arcade one up, these are the cross beam supports, right? That they go in the back yes. in the front, yes. like right underneath the control yes, panel. So it's like, like yes, the middle yes, of the yes. cab, essentially. Yeah. So there's yes, those two support yes. beams. There's also one that's so behind the monitor important. too, right? It's like, there's three of them, yes. right? You need three of these? Yeah, three. Yes, three. There's, yeah, you need three mm -hmm. of them. Exactly. Yeah. So I luckily have an eraser. I didn't use a black one. So easy. And then what about the bottom of the cab? Uh, so the original outrun cab had like the recess kind of pedal section. You're not even going to bother with that, right? Like, what are, are you going to do anything? I'm gonna like, put it. I'm making... a, yeah, I'm gonna put it. I cut. I'm gonna cut some out the pedals on the bottom knee. Inside, so you're not going to make that little. So that way, okay. yes. So you're going to make yeah, the I'm inside of that front area bump. like open as well too, right? And stick the pedals inside. Yeah. That's... As you guys can see, I messed it up. You see that? You see that two line? I'm like a centimeter away. See that? So now I'm just gonna cut it straight. I have a a table saw machine up here. Make it nice and easy. Cut it straight. I mark my line. I don't know y'all can see this with the other camera. Can you see it? The the big camera, the white camera. I got my table. I got my table saw. Yeah, I'll switch it around so we can see the can big see camera. Uh, yeah, let's let me see. close this here. Let me, let me move this camera move around so y'all can see it. Add that yeah. in. Let me go get my. Let me go get. Let me go get my goggles. Let me go get my goggles right there. There it is. Let me go get my goggles. A lot of dust gonna fly in my face. <laughs> safety, safety first, guys. First. Always safety. safety first. Uh, I've been using some new tools too. If you if you haven't checked that out, I did a live demo of drilling using my uh, my brand new drill press. And Bobby doesn't like a drill press because he likes to use his guns, uh, but I am in love with that's my drill right, press. So that's if right. You, that's right. If you if you have the right tools, everything makes life easier. Um, so check that out if you want to see a demo of me drilling through uh, plexiglass and MDF at the same time. Uh, works really well for for what I use. And my go-to bit is a Forstner bit, so that's making holes. Um, but you know, everybody has their preference. Pros and cons for everything, but uh, so Bobby, are you going to be cutting it on the uh, in the front or in the my back? Table saw. What's I'm that? Cutting my table, table saw. saw on a table saw. Yeah. My table saw. I'm okay. Cutting. This is easy. This is very easy. All right. I I just I just muted Bobby because it's getting kind of loud. So he's using his power tools there. Uh, so yeah, we can see him in the back there. Uh, he has that whole setup in the back uh, with his tools. So he has a toolbox. He has several power machines back there, right there. Um, so the front one that you see with the the mobile cam is is kind of um, uh, a saw table, and then he has the uh, the table saw in the back. So all right, I'm I'm muting you now. Go oh, ahead. I'm off. I'm off. I am off a little bit, so I'm gonna sand it down nice and straight. Okay, it's off. See that? See, yeah. It's okay. You can sand it. Make it straight.
All right, Bobby's using that sander. So the sander is really key. I mean, for anything that you're modding, I'm gonna mute him really fast. Yeah, so that sander that he's using, uh, when he was making that whole board, again, all, uh, when he makes that cut, he makes it a slight millimeter or two outside of the cut, and then he uses the sander to get it back down. So this is just kind of how he's doing it. Um, so yeah, do you wanna, do you wanna talk? Okay, Are you checking look. The, all right. Look at this, exactly, look at that. Exact measurement, look at that. Okay, we'll sand it down a little bit. Bobby, oh, your other room? your laptop camera, yeah. by the way, died. So I don't know. All right. That's been over here. Yeah, we'll so your laptop in. camera died. That's all right. If you can reboot it, you can. You have your other cam going still, so that's fine. So just uh, when you get a chance, you can check that one out. It was a little bit laggy, anyways, on stream. So you may not need to turn that one back on if we can just check your mobile. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So all right. Keep now going. I have this perfect. So I'm gonna use this as a measurement. Same. Same, 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 uh, same wide, the length. Okay, it's gonna be longer. So I like to use the side of this to make it straight. The side is the straightest part. Okay, I'm just gonna draw a line. Duplicate exactly identical. I'm gonna go one more over here. Make it nice and straight. I can make two of these. I got one, so I'm gonna go to the other side. Cause this side is straight. I use the straight side, right? You gotta use it nice and straight. String it up. So I need to make three of this piece. So you need or one more MDF to then? To expand the cab. Yeah. Yes, I have plenty. Plenty, plenty, plenty. Cool, cool, cool. So make sure it's perfectly aligned i'm out here i'm like okay perfect perfect you don't want it crooked if you have a crooked then your cab is going to be fit fit okay but it's going to be off it's not deadly aligned center so i'm gonna make this here line it up i'm gonna tell you guys what i mean i like to go on the corner of the edge, are you guys can see? Yep. See how I use this side to line it up straight. And I use this side to make it straight. See that? I didn't go right in the center. So this piece of wood, I'm gonna save it. So I'm gonna use my table saw. I'm gonna cut it. Pretty All easy. Right, so, Ain't that hard. All right, Bobby's going off camera for right now, but that's okay. We'll get it going in just yeah. a little bit, so. yes. Would I have my camera out? Oh no, your mobile's still on, but we can't see you right, because you're you're big camera. All right, uh, I'm muting him while he's using that table saw. <laughs> uh, you know, some of this it might be easier if I was in person helping him out, but you know, we're testing this out, seeing if we can do a full live modding session. This is really awesome. You know, just uh, being able to connect with folks that are watching right now and and bringing the art of modding into your houses. Um, and so, Bobby, if you couldn't tell already, he's really into the hardware builds and kind of really figure out how to make things work. He's uh, you know, a lot of the times people will ask like, do you have a template for this? Or like, how do you do this? What are your measurements? And uh, the measurements are all in his brain <laughs> and they're all drawn out by hand from what you can see. Um, so that's part of the modding process that makes it fun, right? That you're able to kind of think on the fly, creatively solve a problem. Like he went into opening up that monitor blind and just being able to, you know, test it out. So that's the same thing with me when I, when I see a new, kind of controller or joystick uh, and I want to see how things work so I want to bust it open live too so those are kind of uh, you know our talents that we like to bring together and collaborate so um, thanks are you back you back yes, yes I'm back oh you're still drilling though uh, no 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 I'm done, uh, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. oh he's using his thing uh, no take it right, out H guys you see luckily I draw a line right I'm off you see now I'm going to sand it where, where I'm off see that see that little pencil line I'm gonna continue mm -hmm. signing that to straighten it up, okay? I'll be back. Mute me. You don't want anybody yeah. to hear this. All right. Mute. All right, A-Tran fanatic. Are you, are you a Transformers fan by chance anyways? Check this out. If you're a Transformers fan, look at my room. You guys see that? I don't know if you guys can see. It's a little dark, but um, I have a room full of 
Transformers that I probably have not showcased. You've kind of seen in my background, like what I normally collect, but that is um, it's my my Macross Transformers collection that I have. That that's been my main main thing. But yeah, watching our Joe Press video the other day was really informative. So thanks for checking that out. Again, I think that's what me and Bobby really love to do. It's not only just building stuff for ourselves, but you know, eventually share, sharing kind of the tips and tricks that we learned along the way. Uh, I I started as a very novice beginner modder, uh, you know, in February this year, and and thanks to connecting with Bobby, watching his early videos, and just testing stuff myself, um, have really learned how to how to get better with certain things. Um, so um, I appreciate folks that are coming in, and hopefully these videos help some folks that have some ideas about modding on their own. Uh, but it never hurts to try. I think that's the coolest thing that. You know about modding is that once once if you feel like you're gonna mess up or something like I feel like there's always ways to fix it for the most part for the most part except for plexi I always say that uh, be careful with your plexi you only get one shot and you have to redo it but everything else you can fix almost everything so can open things up can things most around um, those those are the things that you can do while you're modding all right any other questions in the chat while while Bobby's boot, um, you know moving on his uh, sander right now so he's making a second one too. Um, oh yeah, Gamer Stan saying that he collects McFarlane and Hot Toys. I'd love to hear what other people collect. I know people are into arcades, and I've I see arcade rooms that I get super jealous at, but I don't have a really good arcade setup yet. Like my actual den with my arcades is pretty, pretty um, tame compared to my collection room because I've been collecting toys for oh my god, like 15 years now, and. Uh, uh, that's been my main passion is Macross and Transformer toys. I just got into doing the whole arcade bit last year because they're so big, um, but they're so expensive. Uh, I mean, my my toys that I collect, I do a lot of. Uh, pe people don't know I'm a huge Macross fan, and uh, you know those toys are only available through the Japanese market. So you have to use re like you know secondhand folks to re to get them, and they're expensive. The cost of one of these toys is the same as an arcade one up if not more sometimes depending on what you're getting so the collectible toy market is is crazy but it's pretty awesome hoping to do some unboxings and, and things too if that's ever uh something that folks want to see but i have a cool cool setup i enjoy it i want i definitely want to showcase some more of that too all right bobby bobby's still standing off this board so he's making three of these little panels again these are i think they're the k and l panels that you would see on the arcade one ups the middle sections that kind of hold everything together and so he made it the width of the pixel cade marquee that's going to be installing in the front so if the pixel cade marquee is going to be on the front of your cab then the rest of the width of the cab is going to be that same direction so that's why he used it to measure it perfectly cool 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 Oh, I love this. So we're gonna we're gonna go on a tangent here and start talking about Transformers because A Tran Fanatic says he's a huge Transformers fan. You have seventy five percent of the original G one collection in boxes. Very cool, man. Awesome. Does that mean you don't take them out of the boxes? So if you if you could tell my collection, I'm one of those that like opens everything. Like even though, even though I love like you know to keep things, if you don't open them and look at them. How are you gonna enjoy them? So, uh, but maybe the G ones ones stay in the boxes because that's more nostalgic. They like as much as I love G one, like uh, they're they're terrible toys <laughs> in terms of like transformation and the engineering behind them. Um, but you know the newer toys and the newer masterpiece stuff, like some of those things are super fun to play with and and transform and mess around with. But G one toys are more about nostalgia than they are than actual toys. But that's just my, my my humble opinion about Transformers. But cool, man. Thanks for sharing that. I love that that you're a huge Transformers fan. Bobby is too. I went to his house and I've seen a little Transformers display case uh, looking pretty good. I'm sure you can get more. He has like, uh, the, the I think, the, the War for Cybertron uh, Omega Supreme, which is pretty cool. I have that in my collection as well. So big Transformers are pretty awesome to have in your collection. Really huge. G1 figures are bricks. Uh, uh, is what No Money Render says. This is true. They're they're bricks, but they're fun. They last, right? They they have that nostalgia kind of fun metallic diecast features. Did anybody anybody come back the Hasbro campaign for the Un Unicron? Anybody do that? Like um, so, I did. I'm gonna. I I, I that's that was like one of my major purchases that I made last year. That I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna spend six hundred dollars on a Transformer toy, and now I'm like, oh, I just spent six hundred dollars on an Outrun arcade cab. So now it's like doesn't feel as bad now that I'm spending so much money on arcades. Uh, but yeah, I can't wait to get the Unicron, the Haslab Unicron. That was the, the Hasbro Kickstarter campaign. Um, so that's that's gonna be my a big Transformers toy 
that uh, help to expand my channel to other content. But I love the arcade stuff. I mean, like, oh man, this is this has really been an awesome run of of talking about arcades and everything that you can do for modding over the last several months. So, Bobby, where are you at? Can I turn you back on? Yeah, You're back yeah, turn me back on. Okay. All right. Now, now make sure you double check. Both of these are identical. You see how it is? It. Mm -hmm. This is two K and L. So I'll make one more. I'm missing one more, right? So I'm yeah. gonna extra left leftover leftover wood. Okay. So I don't know. You count this as what? How much? I don't know how you can how you calculate this. So I'm gonna take the one I just cut it out. I'm gonna measure this. What about the bottom panel? Piece, so Bobby, like, what, yeah, why don't you use? You that. Yeah. Oh, you do a different one. Di okay. Yeah, I'm gonna get you that. Okay. Now you see this? Yep. I'm gonna cut this out. You see this piece here? Mm -hmm. Same measurement. I'm gonna use it as a monitor mount. Oh. Okay. You get it? This yeah. piece will be a monitor mount. It'll be in the back because this is custom. I'm not gonna um, router the side, grind the side to fit the cabin. No, no need to because once you do custom, you gotta go in a different route because there is no gap for 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 measurement. It's kind of hard to measurement on a side gap on a on the inside how you route it out to fit it in mm -hmm. it's hard to make it a perfect measurement because it's of an angle yeah you get what i'm saying so this would be perfect right here yeah so, so I'm instead gonna of this. uh I'm gonna draw yeah. a little line so instead of uh doing the like normally you would decase it and make like a mount frame that fits it flush but now you're going the route of kind of the old traditional way to install like an aftermarket marquee, which is to have like a mount that goes inside of your cab and then just using the VESA hole mounts to kind of screw it in, right? So the, the monitor is just going to screw into that backboard. Right, Bobby? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. All right, so I'll show you measuring all that out. the tips and tricks that I know. Yes. Measure this, measure this. Okay. I'll be using one up mount, one up uh, L bracket mount. I have which I have a lot of Leftover and spare. You guys get it? You guys know what I'm saying? Do those mount, straighten it up. I like Bobby, mine to be nice, perfect. I'm very OCD about this. Yeah. Bobby Broadway says yeah, that you rule. Do you know who Bobby Broadway is? He says, Bobby rules. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we both rule. Hey, yeah. You Bobby, huh? You Robert and Bobby, huh? That's right. It's another Bobby. Yeah. No, I'm going to use this. Add my gun, yeah, right here. Okay. So, same thing. Since so I'm gonna measure, measure, measure this one. Uh, this is the perfect size. I'm gonna do it identical. So I'm gonna do one. Make sure it's nice, line straight. I'm off. Go down a little bit. Nice and straight. Perfect. My jaw line. After this, we're gonna go for the bottom piece with a base. What's that piece called? The base, a B. Uh, I don't know. Like you need the letter. Yeah, yeah. What's that? What's that base called? The bottom base. I can go grab the instruction manual. Oh no, it's okay. No, it? no, 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 it's okay. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm using my table saw. I'll be right back. All right. Turn on. Turn mute. Mute it. Mute it. Mute it. Mute me. Mute me. Mute. You got it. You're muted. All right. So Bobby's working back. He's making another panel. So he's almost done with the frame. So once he does that, then he just has to do the base. And I think that's it. So I mean, like later when get Bobby gets back, I'm also curious about when he makes that widen frame, he also has to use the thin MDF to make a new back cover as well as a new kind of top plate cover. I think the front He's not going to be using a kick plate, a traditional kick plate, because the outrun cab doesn't have a kick plate you can stick your feet inside. Um, so he has to use thin MBF for it to also expand it. So I'm pretty sure he's just going to cut a custom size. He can't use the other one that's going on. Um, hey, what's up, your average gamer? Thanks for joining in. So uh, if for the folks that are new to joining in, uh, we have about 45 people watching the stream right now. So Bobby is working on expanding, making parts to expand the Arcade 1UP Outrun style cab that we cut out last time. In part one, we cut out a frame of the Arcade 1UP Outrun cab that he traced and cut out, showed you guys his ticks, trips, ticks, tips and tricks, <laughs> can't stop, of cutting that out, sanding it down, making it nice and smooth. Oh, look, we're getting a, a nice peek there. So he's turning the camera around. So now you can see Bobby's table saw. Do you want me to unmute you? Oh, no, okay, no, he's just, he's still working. So he's got his table saw there. Um, so there we go. 
nice and smooth, very straight. Watch your fingers. Count your fingers, Bobby. Make sure nothing gets cut off. <laughs> yeah, going going very, very clean there. So uh, he got some tools, got, got his workbench, and, and he has all sorts of different pieces of wood too. So I mean, uh, it's nice to have those at your disposal, but otherwise, a lot of times, if you have the right measurements too, if you're doing your own measurements, you could also even take it to like Lowe's and have them cut it for you. All right, you want me to unmute you? All right, you're unmuted now. Go ahead. Yeah. What happened? What'd you do? Why is it so crooked? As you can, as you can, see, no, my machine is crooked. As you see, my table saw is crooked. Luckily, I drew a line. Now all I have to do is just cut this little piece out and sand it down. Okay, I'm gonna use this. Um, what's the machine called? B. What's this called? What's that? A bandsaw or what? I don't know. Is that a router? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's what's called a bandsaw. I'm gonna use a bandsaw. Okay. Yeah. I'm just gonna cut it. All right. Little Let's... bandsaw. All right, we're we're counting we're counting Bobby's fingers as he's going through here. We don't safety first. <laughs> but yeah, he's cutting. He's got all these tools set up. Look at that, using a bandsaw. Power tools one oh one. How to use all the stuff in your arsenal. I like getting old arcade cabinets and fixing them up. Christopher Fasano. So what do you use? What are some of the tools that you use when you're when you're building and and re uh, you know, refurbishing old arcades. I'm kind of curious. Like I, I'm as much as I'm into arcade one ups. I have like zero experience with full size cabs. I have an arc, an area, not an area 51, a lethal enforcers full size cab that I've been meaning to kind of get to and refurbish. And I just bought a virtual on full size cab. So I am a full size cab noob. So I'm really curious about. I probably should be watching some more other folks that have more experience with the full size cab and restoring those. Um, but arcade one ups are a little bit easier for me to handle. Curious. All right, Bobby, should I unmute you? Are you back? All right. What yeah, are you I'm doing back. now? What are you doing now? Okay, I'm gonna measure. I'm gonna, right now. I'm gonna measure the other side to stand it up. Everything needs to be exactly identical, the same. You can't. You can't have yeah. one longer, one shorter. So it's everything's gonna be off. Okay. So I'm gonna measure both sides. The reason why I measure both sides when you sand it, you sand it evenly. You see how I? You see how mm -hmm. there's a, a previous line I drew. So now I'm gonna sand this. Yep. Oh, now I have to sand this and this side too. Okay. okay? So you're gonna have to mute me. Let me sand this real quick. Okay. All right. Cool. So yeah. So uh, Bobby, <laughs> your average gamer said it best. He said, "This is the part that gets me that I hate the woodwork." And so the woodwork again, you have to have some of the right tools, and you know, cutting it down, sanding it is the key for Bobby's kind of smooth panels that he makes. Um, so that's I agree. Woodworking is not for me. That's what Bobby does, and then I handle the other side, which is the software side. So <laughs> we have we make a good one-two team for sure. Um, and then uh, Donkey Punchers 1976 asked, "You're late to the video. Are you modding this with other driving games?" Yes, absolutely. So what I'm doing is we are taking this um, um, this cab and then putting in a custom playlist to be able to run. Um, all sorts of racing games, and so uh, while people are here and watching and Bobby sanding, I think I'll sh I think I have a copy of it. I'm gonna demo and showcase um, my my sample build that uh, I made a custom video. Let me see if I can upload it to the stream. I made a custom video uh, to uh, let's see if I can upload this. Has to be back from this five minutes. Hey, I can do this. I can upload this. Let me upload the clip of my custom race cade video that I created. So you guys can see what I'm going to put in my outrun cab, and then I'm going to make a version of that outrun cab uh, video uh, for Bobby and his initial D stuff. So let's see here. All right, racing outrun race cade intro. Here it is. Yeah, yeah. So this is going to upload in just a second. So once once we get there, I'll show you guys a, a video. Um, but in my my biggest thing that I I've already had experience with is modding the Star Wars cab. So when I modded the Star Wars cab, I put together my own playlist. I call it Starcade Playlist. Right now, 2.0 is the current version that I have. And on that playlist, I have over I think 115 racing games that are you know classic racing games, modern arcade racers, and a mix of Mario Karts. I have driving shooting games. But I didn't want to just throw them all into one giant list because I've seen other builds and front ends that have all these racing games, but it's just one giant list, right? Um, so from there, I, I, I wanted to demo a, a version that um, you know splits it into specific playlists. So I created custom playlists to be able to get everything going. So yeah, that's what I've been been working on. So that's uploading. I'm going to show that with just in a second. 
Um, we got another question that says, uh, that's awesome. Can't wait to see the final build. Just found out about this cab. And if you get a custom image of driving games, I'm going to get one. Is the image going to be available upon completion? Um, so that's TBD for right now. A lot of times when I do my builds, I, I you know provide them for clients and folks. But um, I'll see if I can make a smaller version of my build. So I my preferred front end of choice is LaunchBox Big Box. It's just what I use personally and, and the easiest for me to create custom playlists and things. Um, so uh, if, if you're interested in Star Wars, I have um, you know my Starcade Playlist 2.0 available for clients that I'm working with. I have a Facebook group. If you guys want to join it, I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, but if you join my Facebook group, I'll have information on where to get my Starcade Playlist. Playlist. This race Cade still TBD if it's going to be available for folks. Um, so let's see if the video uploaded. It's still uploading. Maybe I can just share it from my desktop. Let's see. Let's see if I can just share it from my desktop. Um, go here. Let's go here. And I'm going to share my screen here. Share audio. All right. And so I'm going to share my screen now. OK. And uh, let's see if I can do this. All right, so here we go. Tell me if you guys can see this. This is my custom race Kate intro. Yeah, there it is. So I made a specific outrun list. Just a little teaser. Thirty-seven second video, ride and shoot playlist. My ride and roll playlist with Paperboy, Crazy Taxis. Yeah. All right. So that was my um, race Cade playlist. So did you guys, were you guys able to see that? Was that cool? Did you guys see that? <laughs> All right, cool. So that was um, that was my custom race Cade playlist that I put on my OutRun cab for what I'm putting together. So um, again, I'll make a version of that probably with Initial D music. I'll probably make it a custom playlist just with Initial D <laughs> and then have the Initial D background music as well too. So it's uh, just a little teaser video that I put together based on everything that I have. Um, the fact that I added Stun Runner makes you cool. So yes, yeah, Stun Runner is actually one of my favorite games to play on the Star Wars mod. It's really awesome. Bobby, you back? Should I unmute you? I'm sorry, you've been waiting for me. Yeah, I'm back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I'm back. You're back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Keep on talking. I'm trying to. I'm trying to connect my laptop. Again. Oh, okay. Okay. Now, guys, now the last final step. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, check this out. You remember this? Yes. I'm duplicate yes. that. The dowel, the dowel. All three, all three, yeah. Mm -hmm. The dowel, the screws, everything, okay? So let me get my tools ready. All right. So I'm going to get my little bits. The best one is, um, remember, you got to drill at least half an inch deep or you're going to get a crack. Yeah. All right, so while he's getting that stuff, some folks are asking. What were you saying? Are you talking about the little drill bit that you're using, right? All right, Bobby, we're so, just timing wise, we're an hour in size. right now. Okay. Oh my God, I better hurry up. Oh, damn, that's fast. Yeah, you got an hour left. Okay. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eyeball this. You got to get the picture. Look, I'm going to eyeball it. Okay. When you when you go to the other side, you don't flip it, you, you slide this. You get it? Yep. So that way you duplicate exactly the same. You don't want to flip it upside down or messing around with it. So I'm going to get a little clamp. I better hurry up, hurry up before the time runs out. Okay. <laughs> Keeping Just, Bobby on track. We're only doing two hours the whole, at the whole time. This, okay? yeah. So it's lining up straight as possible, right? That's good enough. So I'm going to mark it. I'm going to mark it first. So the middle one is, has to be a screw, right? So you screw in. You just try to center it as much as possible as you can. You get it? So I'm going to center this dead center by eyeballing it. Now I'm going to screw it in at least half an inch. How about that much? See that? Yeah. That much. Because when you do that, the way you would want crack when you screw in the screw. 
So I'm gonna mark this. I'm gonna use this as a mark. This is where the DAO is at. I'm gonna mark the DAO. Okay, so later on, it's with, with ease. That's it. One tiny mark. One death center mark. That's it. Now I'm gonna go to this side. I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna slide it. I'm gonna slide it right there. So everything will be identical. Nothing missing. All right. As you guys can see it, see all that? All right. I'm gonna drill it in, same thing. This is where the screw, the wood screw. You got to you look, eyeball it, dead center. I'm gonna dead center it right there. Now I'm gonna screw it in all the way. I mean, drill it all the way. Almost all the way. So that way, your wood won't crack when you put in the wood screw. I wanna mark this real quick. I'll mark this. It's, it's off right there. I'm gonna move it over a little bit. I could have done this for faster, but I want I want to see, I want to show you guys as a live tutorial to see how I mark it, how I duplicate it in all detail. I don't want to skip any step and, gonna, and then all, all of a sudden my message blowing up. Hey, you skipped this step. How do, you, how do you mark it? So I'm showing you guys how I mark it right now, okay? Pretty easy and simple. This thing's wiggly and moving around. It was wiggly and moving. Add another one. Clamp. Okay. That's right. If your average gamer so, says right he's going to have to watch part one and part two to make me one too. So yeah, if you want to go back and take a look at how Bobby even like started this whole process, check out that part one video. It's about, you know, we'll probably do two hour sessions at a time. Guys, if you successfully, yeah. guys, if you successfully mod it, custom, follow my tutorial, please let me know and give me a shout out. So that way I know that my tutorial works. So that way you guys can motivate me more for more tutorials, for future tutorials. Yeah. You got, you got what I'm saying? Yeah. No, we get a lot of people that are yep. saying that, Bobby. Like the comment is... saying that watching our series of videos is giving people more confidence to do their own mods. So yeah, we definitely appreciate hearing that, especially like, you know, Bobby on the soft on the hardware side and you know, my little tips that I have on some of your wiring needs. Um so it definitely helps us uh, you know, continue making videos like this for the community, especially if it's gonna help. Yes. So appreciate to hear yes, that. Yes, yes. Yes. So I'm on the same thing. I'm gonna screw this. Half an inch deep. Now I want to mark my dowels. Try to death center this. And my dowel here. Just a little tiny mark. I'll tell you why later, why I do that. Later, when you do everything, it will be easy with ease. So, one done. Okay, now I'm going to go this side. Continue on. What do you think, Bobby? How far are we going to get by the end of today? Are we going to be able to see it put together a little bit? What do you think? I, ho I hope so, because after this, <laughs> we're going to have to do the uh, the bottom base. OK. So the bottom base is going to be a little bit difficult, because we're going to have to expand the bottom base. Yep. OK? <clears throat> the bottom base is going to be very important to uh, for hold the support. Let's see. Okay. Now I'm just gonna mark the hole. I'm gonna do the rest. I'm gonna show you the guy the next step is a very important for the next step, okay? Very important for perfect measure. Last one. Last of the L and the K uh, bracket. Nice. Mount. Okay. So I'm gonna do this real quick. We'll death center this. Anybody have any questions?
Or are they still uh, watching? No questions so far. We still have about 40 people that are watching. It's taking a time. Got some folks Oh, wow. Here. That's a lot. Yeah. So we still got some folks here. Big Kid Toy Locks just says, Bobby, okay, you guys, and B are very inspiring. I'm working on a mini Donkey Kong. So now maybe a racing cop to racing cab too. You got this. So thanks, thanks, big kid toy box for checking it out. Okay, so, guys, take it out. Yep. The middle will be a screw, the wood screw. Which way are you gonna put it? See that? Mm -hmm. Yep. I drew it, I drew it up to like right here, about half an inch. Mm -hmm. The two, the two hole I mark, that will be the dowel. Now, very important. This is very important. You guys must listen carefully with this one. The dowel, where's my dowel tools? Okay. I forgot what's this called. What was this called again? My mark. The little, the um, little, uh, so I'm going to use the original dowel hole. I'm going to stick it in until it stops. You get what I'm saying? That's, that's where my, my measurements. So now I'm going to lock it. I'm going to use this. I'm going to lock it. You get it? You got to get it? You got to get the picture? So yes. I'm gonna lock it down as a measurement. I forget what that was All called. Right. Somebody mentioned what it was last time. Like, okay, let's tell it. Let's set out. So, there is my measurement. You see that? Now with ease. Now I'm gonna do. Use my drill. You gotta get links Look, to all your this. tools, Very man. Easy. Watch right. this. Watch this, guys. Watch this. Very easy. Look. Look. Done. You see that? Identical. You see that? That's where your dial is at. Continue on the other side. Very easy. Nothing complicated. Continue on. Thanks, Bobby. Bobby says it's like a submariner, a death what gauge. Else? Yeah, I don't know what it's what, what it's actually called. Hey, but we, we got another question for you. Somebody says, Bobby, what kind of music do you like? Yeah. Do you like punk rock music or surfing music? What's your what's your go to music? I you're eighties, <laughs> eighties, <80s>, new wave, <laughs> disco. Yeah. Days and some hip hop. It depends. It depends. You know, not all hip hop, but some hip hop and like dance music, mixed music. You know, some uh, some tech, little techno. You know, some retro <laughs> music. You know, that's all my favorite music. Yeah. I like New Wave. You know, guy, you guys know what New Wave is? Any music? Follow my boy DJ Alpha on on Twitch. He plays on Saturday and Sunday. Oh, oh, and freestyle. Freestyle is my favorite too. Right. Yeah, because I'm getting I'm getting hey, anxious too. I can't wait to see the initial detail have... when it's all finished. Show them what it's done. We have expansion, okay? Now let's go for the base. I'm gonna use this as measurement for the base. You get what I'm saying? This is the base right here. You got 45 minutes, man. Let's get to it. Oh, I have the original. Let me go grab the original base. You know, forget perfect uh, measurement. I'll be back. There we go. He's coming back right now. Uh, so your average gamer. I know you have your own channel. So uh, check us out. Check him out. He does some good stuff there as well. Appreciate you joining in, checking out the stream as well. Um, so yeah, I think it's cool thing about this uh, the community is that we're all kind of supporting each other. I see a lot of folks that are joining other people's streams that they were all talking about kind of the retro arcade community. So it's been pretty cool to see everybody jumping in as I've done more of these live streams and see who the folks that are coming back in and out. But uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying the content. So uh, if for the folks that are new just joining in, we are in the middle of expanding the arcade outrun. Arcade one up outrun replica cab that Bobby's making. So in our part one video, he made the frame for it. Earlier in the video, we were working on expand using the 27 inch monitor um, to see if it fits into the cab by decasing it. Unfortunately, the internals were a little bit too complicated to remove it completely from the case. So uh, he's going to be making a mount instead, so that it mounts into the inside, sort of like uh, you know some of the the other monitor kits that you might see from like 
Tulsa or some other places that have like the 20 inch monitor kit where it just uses a flat wood panel and then you just drill the four VESA holes into the back of the, the actual monitor itself. So that's the style that he's going to be mounting the, the monitor in, but it's huge. I mean, 27 inch monitor, he's talking about like, you know, 10 inch diagonal screen size bigger than the stock arcade one up. It's going to be a beast in there. So uh, I like the resolution on the stock monitor that I saw earlier as well. Um, it's going to be running my custom playlist. Um, so it's going to be pretty cool. It's going to be a nice big build when it comes out and does everything. Um, so I showed you guys earlier what my race K demo video looks like um, uh, while, while he's coming back. Uh, I will just showcase a little bit about what's happening um, with some other stuff too. Where's my stream right? There it goes. There it goes. Okay, cool. Um, I have a, another video I wanted to show you guys of just OutRun itself. So um, when, when people are asking me when I make my playlist videos, like how do I put the stuff together? Um, so I'll give you all my secrets in terms of like just putting a custom playlist together. There's a lot of nice media available for games. So if you use Big Box, there's a program called Emu Movies. What would you spill? What is that? What is that, Bobby? You're up. I can't hear your mic if you're talking. What happened? Where'd you go? Are you talking, Bobby? Can you hear me? Check your ear pads to see if they're reconnected. Your ear pods might have disconnected. Yeah, we're going through some tech things right now. Bobby, can you hear me? Now? Check it out. All right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this is the the base, the T panel. Yep. You gotta get it? Yep. So what we're gonna do is then we'll get a big extra panel I got. Let's move this other side. I need room. I need lots of room. Lots of room. This is done. Now. This should be quick. Once once with the base is in, boom, we ready to roll. Okay? This should be quick. Uh, let me go get a piece of wood. A long piece of wood, wide for base. He's grabbing it, grabbing it. All right, so while he's grabbing that, um, I'll just showcase and demo a little bit about what I was doing to build my custom playlist video. So everything that you saw uh, me build a second ago, was made in a program called Camtasia. And so that's just my program that I use um, to put stuff together. Um, so let's see, Outrun Playlist, there it is. OK, so I will share my screen so you guys can see what I'm using right, to put together. Well, I'll do it in the next break. All right, Kong, All right go quick. ahead. All right, Kong, quick question. OK, on yep. the um, Outrun cab, I noticed the, the body is more depth. Can you check? The can you measure this on the bottom? How deep is it? Like if it's the same size? You see where, yeah. You see where, yeah. it's the, where you put the wood behind here, the back piece of wood? Measure yeah. from here, measure from here all the way to the end. I want to see if it's the same size. To the end or to the, like, where the little dip is? To, like, the little groove? No, to the end. To the end? To the end. NTN? Past the groove. To the, all right. Yeah, to the end. Yeah. All right, to I'll be end. back. I'll so be back. Uh, well, I'm getting Talk my wood set up. All right, guys, here it is. Here's my piece of wood. So I'm going to widen this out, right? So basically, as you guys see, this is the back where a piece of wood goes in here to hold the, the backboard. OK. I'm going to use this as measurement, as widening it. But I want to know how, how deep and long is it, right? So this will be my wide. Where is my yardstick? Got this. So this looks like All right, I'm back. Uh 18.75 inches. Okay. Is it the same? 18.579. Where is my ruler? 75, 18.75. Uh, That's from the ruler? back back to the front.
I lost my tape measure. Where's my tape measure at? Where are you, tape measure? Where'd I put it? I had, I thought I had a tape measure out here. What happened? Where'd it go? Oh, well, I don't know where you go. Let me look for, let me grab a bigger tape measure here. All right, while you go grab that, I'm going to show my screen, so. So what is it, 17, 18 what? 18.75 inches. Wow, is that right? Yeah, was this 18, 18 and uh, 18 point, is that, is it? 18.75, so three quarters, so it's like not 18 and a half, 18.75. Seven, eight, seven, eight, seven eight right here. Is that it, seven eight? Uh, right there. Go down, I can't see it. Yeah, it's it should be that third notch right there. It uh, looks a little bit yeah. shorter then. You know why? You know why the mine is shorter is because like there's no there's no kick plate, right? So it doesn't need to have that the kick plate slot going into it. Um, but eighteen point seven five. So, I, so is what mine using, is. yeah, this is pretty. This, yeah, this this is close enough. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. The only way for for, for a perfect measurement, mm -hmm. let's use this cap. Here's the original. That's right. That's right. The only way to find out, right? Yep. So this goes to the back. Look at that, boys! Look at that, huh? Exact. Oh, this is no. This is that. That's the that's the outside. I get I get the wrong way. This side. So the back goes inside. This is where. Yep. Yep. Perfect. See, my dial is off, but good thing. You see this? I want to show you. Kong. B. Yep. B, you listening? I Check am this listening. Look, 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 yeah. look, look, look. Look, look. You see this? You see the hole? It's mm -hmm. off. I don't know if you can see that. Where's it at? Go down. There you it see? is. What the hell is that? Oh, there it is, right here. Mm -hmm. You see that? See that? It's off. So I'm about to use. Let me flip this camera around. Let me, let me measure that. Wasting time. I'll show that later. All right. So I'm gonna use this as a template, but in expanding it. Okay. We make we everything bigger. This Bobby is the bottom Boobie base, the G panel. Everything bigger. Look at that. All right, so he's got a brand new Guys, MDF board okay. there. Check this out. Size does matter. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Unless it you're a small my... guy like Bobby Boo. <laughs> okay. So basically, this is going side by side. So this is the, the this is the expansion. It's going to back, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna measure this. All the way up, straighten it up, and then draw a line, and boom, there we go. We have it. Gotta be a same exactly, exact measurement. So, right there it is. I'm gonna draw it Plus, up. Plus, you asked, what is? Do you have a pick of what it should look like? The end product. If you see the thumbnail image, the the cab art that I use with the initial D in the thumbnail is the mock-up of what one of the designs for the initial D cab is going to look like. So, um, check the thumbnail out in the video. And when you go back and see the video, you'll see a snippet of it. So, when we get closer to the final product of, of when we get putting stuff together, you'll see a little bit more. But I'd say we have at least maybe. Maybe two more videos, three. Uh, hopefully, not too many more videos, Bobby. <laughs> uh, but the, you can't okay. rush perfection. This, this isn't a you know. Once we get this done and everything, there's a lot that happens on the inside. We're gonna show you guys how to decase the want, PC, put uh, that inside. Yes. All everything, right, Bobby? From beginning to end. Audio, yeah. you gotta add yeah. in all that stuff. The, you gotta want, wire it up. I want the community. Mm -hmm. I want all the community to witness the final finished product live from all from the from from from. From the beginning to the end. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. look at that. Here's the expansion. Look, look how the base look like. Look how the base look like. All right, let me go this setting thing here for better view. More setting, blah, blah, blah. Rear camera, back camera, okay.
There it is. There's a bottom base. Nice. So basically, see that? So I'm gonna start um using a table saw. It's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be hard. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use a jigsaw so much faster. Okay. Oh, put me on mute. It's gonna be a lot of noise. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna put you on mute right now. So he's gonna be drilling out the board right now. Go ahead. Cool. All right. So while he's doing that, a um, couple of questions. So um, your average gamer was asking about the PC wheel. Uh, I think Bobby got several wheels, so we haven't picked which one he's going to use yet. So uh, he has lots to choose from. So he's got a, got a lot of good wheels to go with. Um, but so Bobby's going to be grabbing his uh, jigsaw. Bobby, I'm going to unmute you really fast. What are you using? Are you using your jigsaw on that again? Or are you going to use something else? Okay. The table? Yeah, it's too big for me to put on a table saw. Okay. No, it's too big. So you just, I'm okay. going to use jigsaw. Jigsaw. Jigsaw it out. We got 35 minutes, man. Stop, stop, stop. Jigsaw. Simple jigsaw. 35 minutes? Oh my goodness. Hold up. Oh, <laughs> damn. Oh, damn. Yeah, 35 clock minutes. Is on. 35 Clock's on, minutes. man. Oh, damn. Clock's on. Oh, All right, man, I'm going to mute you right now. All right, so while Bobby's there, don't rush yourself, Bobby, though. Be safe. All right, that's first and foremost. Be safe. Safety first. Safety first. Um, your average game was asking, are we going to be linking two racing cabs together? Um, so there definitely are some network games that if you have two cabs close together, you can use a network to, um, on your online stream to um, to network them. So I'm going to be doing it for myself because I'm going to have two racing cabs. I don't know if Bobby's going to plan to build a second cab to network in his house. He's making two, one for Encore. Uh, Encore is uh, making his art guy. He does some amazing work, so he's going to making one for him. But we, I haven't been successful networking two PCs that that are in different places uh, because he required to be like on the same IP address and then be able to kind of uh, you know spoof the same IP. So I tried messing with it and it didn't work that well. Um, but that's that's what we're doing. So yeah, Bobby has steady hands. Okay, so while he's doing that, I'm gonna I'm gonna share my screen again so you guys can see uh, for folks that were interested in what I was doing to make my custom playlist and everything. So let me let me make this bigger right here. OK, cool. So this is my uh, my screen here. I'm using a program called Camtasia. So Camtasia I essentially take the snaps that are available from all the different games and then put them into just kind of a big, giant like screen like this. And then uh, I did use Photoshop to create kind of a logo with this design here. So this is like my custom logo that I created, which is the Outrun logo. And I threw some art images in here, just made it into a clear logo, if you will. And once I get all the games in here and I find a track that I like and I, and I run it, the final product of what this looks like um, uh, is, is pretty much this. So as long as you can make a short snippet of a, um, of a game. So here is the, here's my racing intro for just my Outrun playlist. So you can see this. So this is all the video snaps put together with just the clear logo. So when I'm creating a custom playlist in Big Box, uh, this will play. And then afterwards, when I click into the playlist, then I'll be able to see everything else happening from this. So I thought this was just like a nice little quick way to show you. But this is how I've made all my custom playlist videos for everything. Um, so like, what, for example, we're going to be doing the um, the modern racing playlist, which has the initial D music in the background. So this is like initial D music. So I already have my Tirreno there. You can see I have a little bit of the initial D gameplay in the background right there. So this will be a little snippet of possibly what, what you might be seeing in the initial D outrun cab for the playlist intro. So I um, hope that was kind of cool, just kind of a sneak peek. But uh, if people are wondering how I create all that stuff, I'm just using, again, Camtasia to kind of do my video editing, some basic Photoshop. And uh, that's pretty much it. So hopefully that gives you guys a little bit more of an idea of what's going on. Um, so man, I'm getting very dark because it's uh, it's getting darker here on the West Coast. And um, <laughs> I should turn on my lights, but let's see. It's, hopefully, you guys can still see me OK. If not, I'll, I'll turn on my, my ring light here in just a second so we can see me more. All right, you have to do a video on this B and do a launch box. So uh, if you if you I haven't done a video on how I make the playlist intros, but I do have 
a launch box and a big box tutorial already. So if you if you want to check out my launch box tutorial, my big box tutorial, check it out. Um, I go over how to create custom playlists and everything and how to put that together in terms of the theme. You may still need to like do your own custom logos and things. But hopefully that was kind of a neat little snippet. Maybe I'll do a video on Camtasia if people are interested in seeing what I did. It's very simple. If you have the access to the media, I mean, I'm very basic in terms of Photoshop and just figuring things out, but I, I know how to make things look a little bit nice. So that's what I was able to do. All right, Bobby, I'm going to unmute you now. Tell what you're okay. doing. Now I want to measure the other side so that we can sand it evenly. You get it? So yeah, we have two lines, one on the front and one in the back, top mm -hmm. and bottom. So that way you, you get a perfect sanding straight line. So that way you won't be off. So I'm gonna use this as a guide. Now we're just expanding. So this is the back piece, okay? So I'm gonna use this to make it as a perfect line. Draw it out. Perfect, perfect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Line it up. You got to get perfection. You don't want it to be off. I'm a, you know, you, you, this, you got to be, yeah, you have a, you, you're going to have to have a, guys, you're going to have to have a lot of patience to do this, guys. You can't be rushing it. You got to go one by one. Make sure everything is nice, straight, even for perfect sanding. Now, I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to draw my line up here, too. All right, Chris was asking in terms of like front end, side. what what front ends do you guys like to use? And then you like hyperspin. So our 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 guy Quack Lee is the hyperspin guy in our team. So for those that like hyperspin, you know, I I think hyperspin is great for yes. you know, multi cade. Yes. Quack is awesome. So um, yes, we definitely love our hyperspin builds. But Bobby uses everything. Yeah, Quack, he has uh, so Quack many Lee. different systems. Quack Lee is the yeah. master of hyperspin. Yes. Bobby, what's yeah, your favorite front end though? I mean, you you have the most experience probably using everything from coin ops to hyperspin to launch box to retro FE to you know to everything, man. Like, do you have a do you have a favorite? I don't know. I've never asked you this. Yes, I do. I have a favorite. It's called Star K two. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 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 That you is my it. favorite right now. Yeah. You heard it. You heard it from. Him. So his favorite is my is my launch box big box build my star key playlist. Star man, I appreciate the shout out. Two point oh. <laughs> 2 that is it's the best awesome. out there. There is right now. <laughs> no issue. Plug and play with ease. Uh, so good. I appreciate that. All right. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna mute him while he's moving that. So launch box, but seems hard to set up. So um, you know what the the thing about launch box is is uh. It's it's the the easiest back end for you to create a custom playlist. Like if you're looking for like a plug and play solution, like there's so many kind of pre-built images from either PyBuild or like the CoinOps Next Arcade builds, like any of those, those already have really great playlists and things you can grab ROMs from. Like and like me personally, when I did my launchbox build, all right, I'm gonna unmute you. What are you saying, Bobby? What are you saying? Okay. Okay. Well quick guys, quick update. Yep. Make sure you draw a line both sides. Okay. On both sides, all right. So that way you can, when you sand it, it will be straight. It won't be like angle. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. an example. So you sand straight line here, and the other side is it's still like it's gonna be like an angle. So you have to put the other side and sand it again to straighten it out. So we want the wood to be straight. Yep. Okay, mute me. Good. All right. Good comment. Good comment. All right. That's some master modding tips right there for you gonna sand the edges too. That would be me. If I was cutting straight, I'd be all over the place. But you know, me, I'm using kind of like a, a little mini, I'd maybe use like a little mini, mini circular saw. But um, yeah, launch box. Uh, again, I, I took some of those working builds from coin ops and I imported my games into launch box. So the launch box interface allows you to kind of import ROMs and emulators and set them up individually. Uh, but so if you're looking at customizing your own library, like I don't, I, I haven't found an easier system to like, I just want to play these games on this playlist and make my own set. Um, you know, that's the benefit that I found in using Launchbox. But I know you can do that in, in CoinOps and you know, but if you're looking for more kind of like plug and play solutions where you can drag and do add on packs and stuff like CoinOps is fantastic. I've not used Rocket Launcher and Hyperspin 
yet. Uh, Quackly needs to teach me on how that works. I know it can be finicky, but uh, the the interface or the the front end, the ultimate front end of higher spin, when in terms of like the media playing and all the images and the the snaps and stuff, like I th I think hyperspin looks the best. But uh, you know, it it takes a while to set up. So yeah. There's another there's another shout out from David that says Starcade 2.0. Woohoo. If you haven't checked it out, I have a demo of my Starcade playlist 2.0 that you guys may have been uh, checking out before, but check it out. It has 329 games. It's awesome. I need to do a demo of more gameplay cuz I kind of failed when I was doing my first demo of it. I wasn't using StreamYard yet when I was um uh, streaming, so it wasn't easy for me to like sc share my screen, but now I can I almost want to do another demo video using this new program that's way easier for me to like stream multiple cameras and stuff because OBS was not having it with me earlier. I just I don't know how to use OBS as well yet. Um, but cool. Thank you guys for joining in. Uh, Bobby, we have about 25 minutes left in the stream. So he's uh, working on the bottom. I hope by the end of the stream, we can at least see the frame of it put together. That would be awesome. Uh, you know, we may not get to actually mounting the uh, the 27 inch monitor, but let's see it. Let's see if we can at least, you know, get the frame set up. Uh, but we needed to, you know, when you're when you're when you're building your cab, looking at both the marquee that you're going to install, whether it's an LED one or kind of one of the aftermarket marquees, um, and then your monitor size, that's going to dictate dictate the size of how big you're going to widen your cab for. So that's why at the beginning of this video, for those that joined in late, Bobby was looking at the 27-inch monitor that we um, that we were working on, and uh, and then he was kind of get those dimensions so that he can make these custom measurements. And so we've already made three. Um, K and L panels to kind of make the frame, and now he's finishing off making the bottom base of it. Um, so he's going to have to duplicate this again, but hopefully we'll be able to to get this going on. Uh, Nubs one is here. George Edana, my man, my main man, George. So for folks that don't know, George and I are going to be doing another stream on Thursday evening. So check it out uh, at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. I'm going to be having George on here to talk a little bit about his amazing 3D masterpiece called the Death Starcade. And I saw that there was somebody else that did a Death Starcade, George, but I'm confident that it doesn't compare to what you did. <laughs> so I, I, anybody who's done a Star Wars mod and has like completely blown me out of the water, like I definitely want to interview them and showcase them what they've done. So you can prepare to be blown away if you've not seen George's Death Starcade in the back that he did on it. So I'm, it's going to be freaking amazing. All right, so George says LaunchBox has a feature to import your Steam and uh, GOG games too. So yes, another kind of fun fun feature for LaunchBox. Uh, Big Pit Toyok says, man, that looks clean like a mother. Wash your hands. Shut your mouth. That's right. So looking clean, Bobby. You got some fans there that are saying there. <laughs> and George is saying that, that that build almost killed you. I'm sure it did, man. You put a lot of work into that. Uh, Bobby, we got Keith Coffee saying hello. We got Bonnie Jason Bedditson saying hello. We got Damon Cook that said hello earlier today. These are all the people that are chiming in to support you. Ya yeah, Tando, thanks for joining in, man, checking us out. Nubs One, appreciate everybody that's been checking out the stream. We still have 45 people that are watching today. Um, I look really dark right now because my room got really dark. So um, uh, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll just kind of keep talking in the dark while I have my glowing Macross arcade mod in the background. Uh, so I have to I have to play with my background. One of the things I was going to try to do was see if all, during streams I could turn on my lightsabers. I thought they look really cool, but then um, they're really loud. So I kind of want to turn one on and just like have it in the background, but then um, see if I can still talk. So do you guys want to see my lightsabers turn on on the wall back there? Yeah, anybody? I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to turn it on, and then you guys can tell me if the audio sounds really bad. I'm kind of curious now if it looks really cool with my lightsabers turned on. So check it out. Bobby's Bobby's still standing. He doesn't care if I'm here or not. Get out. You guys ready? Here we go. Boom. Yeah. Oh, I think this one has batteries. I don't think have batteries. How does that look? Does it look cool? Yeah, is it really loud? Is it is it buzzing? <laughs> 
Oh man, and my uh, my Yoda lightsabers and my top ones don't have batteries, so I'm missing a green saber in there. But how does it sound? Does that look pretty crazy? What do you guys think? Lightsaber background. I think it looks awesome. So <laughs> maybe I'll find a way to to mute myself. Can you guys hear the buzzing of the lightsabers while I'm talking, or is it kind of like rumble low? I'm kind of curious. Like, up oh, there, one of them just turned off by itself. So maybe if I can find a way to like leave them on during streams, I think that would be really cool. I have to like play around with my decoration. Or maybe I'll just like cover the microphones. You can hear the humming. Okay, so I have to like cover the the microphones up. When you start them up, you hear you don't hear it too much now. Total Jedi status. All right. So yeah, I'll find a way. I'll find a way to keep those lightsabers on. I think they look pretty cool. They're just on my wall. I never turn them on, so you know, part of them are, are running out of batteries. Um, I'm sad that some of them are actually like broken though. Like I, have, I, I think I left my Yoda one, my batteries in there too long, and then they just kind of like went out. But cool. All right, that's that's the lightsaber background. So Bobby's still standing. He's getting there. Looking, it looks good. Maybe I'll turn them off because it's getting a little bit loud. All right, I'll go turn them off. Turn them off. That was fun. Anytime you get to play with the toys, it's always fun. Got to work on some lighting stuff. Um, so yeah, that's I've been collecting lightsabers since like 2004. So my first lightsaber was a Master Replica, the Darth Vader FX saber. So um, yeah, that was my first. And then I started getting more and more of them. But those are mostly Master Replica FX sabers. Now I have a combination of some Hasbro ones that also bought the license for it. And then some of the Disney ones that came out. So since I live close to Disneyland, uh, now we got it. All right, Bobby, you done? He's blowing. That means he's almost done. So Bobby has that master blower, and so he's good. All right, Bobby, tell us what you did. You got 40, 20, 20 minutes. Can you hear yep, me? I can hear you. Okay. All right, let me show you. The G panel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See the D panel? Now... The tricky part is we're not going to use this, the side hole, because it's different from um, OutRun. They, they mount the hole differently. It was off. I looked at it. So my plan B is get the panel, the side panel, mm -hmm. one of the side panel, and mark it. Here it is. This is the inside, the black, I think black for inside. So basically, it's gonna expand like this. Am I correct? Look at that, right? Nice, you see it? Nice, 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 nice. Well done. So, so I'm gonna decenter this. Now, very important because you don't want to crook it. You want to. You're gonna need a ruler. You're gonna need a ruler, okay? To make it straight. That's about a quarter of an inch. This is perfect. A, needs to be a quarter of an inch. Can you guys hear me? Yep, we can hear you. Basically, I'm measuring a quarter of a centimeter. A quarter of a centimeter of the thickness right here. So the backboard could land right in here. You get what I'm saying? Where you put the backboard? Yep. So the front panel right here. So. This is, let's measure this. What's this? This is a, a inch and a quarter. So yeah, I'm off here a little bit. Here's an inch and a quarter. I'm off here a little bit. Oh, that's bright. I just turned on my light. Let's see. Okay. Let's turn that down a little bit. Quarter of an inch. Quarter of an inch. See, I'm off here. Okay, I am perfect. So you want a quarter of an inch of measurements. Now, where is my... Uh... So I'm going to mark it. I'll get a black marker. 
I want to mark my holes. Dead center it. Nice. I just I just realized that Big Kid Toy Box is Zane. So <laughs> Zane, what's up, man? So yeah, I'm excited that you're finally gonna be able to pick up your your Star Wars cab. It's been a minute since I've had your cab. So I appreciate the patience. But your cab has been sitting in my den. It's been on all the videos that you've seen recently. So thanks for the support. You got you have an awesome panel. Uh, you have a really unique panel, by the way, too. So I did I've not made that panel for anybody else except for you with all the little buttons that you did. Um, so I'll show it off in just a second. So cool, man. I just put two and two together. Are right, you going to be drilling a little bit more? I'm going to meet you for a sec. All right. So Bobby's making the holes to be able to kind of fit in there and every, make everything nice and clean. He's mashing up the holes and the dowels to be able to, to fit in there. So he's doing the dowel holes right now. Uh, but hopefully we can get this together in the next 15 minutes. I know you guys have been waiting. I've been waiting to see this finally like put together in some sort of frame, but it's going to be freaking awesome. All right, uh, C. Mart, the entertainer, entertainer. Chris, Chris Mart says that it'd be cool to find a way to connect them via Google Assistant or Alexa. Uh, you could definitely turn on your cabs using Google Assistant or Alexa, so that's always the uh, cool thing that you can do. Um, but yeah, that's that's definitely depending on on anybody's setup on if you can um, add in add in a Google Alexa like turn on your cab or something. So that's pretty cool. And I love what your average gamer is saying is that the your dad says the difference between a man and a boy is the price of your toys. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Us big boy toys still still have lots of fun playing with our big boy toys. So that's that's a very true statement. I couldn't couldn't agree more. Uh, so Bobby, are you done drilling? What are you doing now, Bobby? We can hear you now. I'm doing I'm not I'm doing the other side. You doing the other side? I'm drilling the hole on the other side. I'm matching the hole on the other side. How are you doing that? Let me see if I can plug this in. Everything needs to be perfect. Everything needs to be a perfect align. So I'm gonna where we use my marker. Where to put my marker at? All right. I guess. Zane, are you still watching? Oh, your lightsabers. Oh, you're talking about the lightsabers to Google Assistant. Like, <laughs> those are all battery powered, man. Like how how do you get something that's battery powered to go into your Google or Alexa? I'd have to turn those into like. An actual like lamp or something that would be pretty cool. Uh, Alexa, turn on my lightsabers. Vroom, like yeah, battery powered stuff. I have to think about that. But Zane, check this out, man. Look, this is the panel. This is your panel. Nobody else has this. Look at these. He did. He wanted a red and a blue button. He wanted all these tiny 16 millimeter buttons in here too. He had. He wanted a custom uh, view button with a kind of a star or uh, X-wing logo here too. This is what this was a an insane kind of panel with all these different things. Pretty good. That's your panel, man. If you're still listening. Super cool. All right. Hey. 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 Are you guys watching? I got a guest here too. Cool. The offspring has joined me for a stream. How are you? Yeah. That was cool. Yeah. Good? Mm -hmm. You can be doing jujitsu soon? Yeah. Okay, set up. Now we're gonna. How you ready? Yeah. 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 All right, looking good. One more, two more, two more. Yeah, yeah, two more, two more. Almost, almost done. Uh, Chris is asking, uh, when's the next? When's the third video? So we'll we'll figure it out. Sometime this going. week. Maybe this weekend sometime or this something. Week. Yeah. Yeah, sometime this week. Should be yeah. easy. We'll see. No, we'll see. See what else we have to do get going. Uh, George is asking, what's the lowest PC that I've tried with my playlist? I would say 
Uh, it was a second gen i5 with a GT1030. That's the that's the lowest PC that I've I've tested my playlist with. It probably could run any of the classics, like on a lower GPU. Uh, I think I originally I think I tried a Radeon like 37 270. I forget what the name is. 34 270. I think was what it was, and it was like it really like lagged. Like my my bar was if can I play Star Wars Battle Pod on this? And with the GT1030, which is like an eighty dollar graphics card, was only running like. 25 fps if even like like max 30 fps so it was really kind of that was my bar like i need to be able to play battle pod on my playlist so gt 1030 can play it but it only runs 25 fps so up when that's just uh my experience of what i've been testing but that's the lowest pc i've used is bobby making all the pieces by right, hand guys. yes yes he is bobby it's, everything is done by hand he's making everything Start right. to finish. All right, guys. Uh, later on, Kong. Later on, yes. I'm gonna send you a link on Amazon to get the correct DAOs. Okay. Okay. DAOs. Okay. So just I already know the measurement for the eyeballing, so I'm gonna gonna do real quick. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put the DAO in where it's when and I'll just cut it. I already know my measurements. That's good. Continue on with the DAOs. Yeah. All right. That's when you do this a lot, you know. That's He's it. just kind of like clipping it. He's just bought his own dowel and it's just like clipping them. That's smart. I eyeballing it because I already know this. I already know the exact measurement, but just by eyeballing it. Yeah, I mean, especially like once you have it in, like you really just need a little bit of the nub sticking out for it to hold it in place. Like you don't need it to like be yep. exact measurement. Yes, exactly. Yes. The one that's going in yes. needs to be more yes, exact, but yeah, to your correct. Yeah. Cool. Clip, so clip, clip. Dows, could be easy. Ain't that hard. All right. Is SoCal clip. is where it's at. Right. Come on down. All right. Who's ready? It's, it's, it's mount is on. Here it is. Here it is. Let's go. Let's there put it, it together. You got you got eight minutes, man. We're counting down. Okay. Here it is. I'm putting it together right now. I'm gonna need to get my screws. Here my we go. Screws. All right. There so at go. least. How many minutes least... we got left? How many minutes we got left? Eight minutes, seven minutes, and forty seconds till okay. we hit the two-hour mark. Okay, we got this. We got this. Here it is. <laughs> Let me go I use the I use the wood screw. I'll show you what the detail later. There's yeah. no time. There's no time. Let me get my uh, go my uh, my Dewalt. It's inside the house. Very cool. Uh, so right, Jay here Bennett. Is. Then... <laughs> here it is, right here. Check it out, guys. Let's yes. put this baby on and see if it fits. Uh, let's put this to the test. Is it exact measurements? Is it the wrong way? Yes, there it is. Come on, Dow. Get it. A little bit off, but it's okay. All right, let's push this in a little bit. Push it down. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, now. Bobby never has any trouble finding the through. hole. Good job. Exactly. So <laughs> I'm gonna use a screw. Yeah. I'm gonna use a screw. Screw it in. Right, right on the dot. You see how I put it in? It just land right there. Now, let's put this on. All right, another one. You can adjust this later. More yeah. power. Yep. Yeah, so a couple yep. of people yep. are asking yep. about the, te the template for this, Bobby. Like... The template? Yeah, so I mean, like, would you just pretty what much happened? like trace everything? Like, but people are asking for the template. Like, yeah. What would you recommend? Like, because, like, you trace this, right? Like, it's hard to like upload a template for like yeah. this for somebody to do this. It's, it's hard. It's hard. It's, yeah. It's, the only way, the only way for me to give you guys a template is send me your address. I can trace it out and mail it to you guys. That's why I did for Steve. Steve who? Steve who? Who was that? Jen, guy? Uh, Steve oh, Wolford. Steve, uh, Steve Wolford. Steven. Yeah. Yeah. Steve, yeah. Steve Wolford. Yes. Huh. I made him a template for Star Wars. Look what he did. Oh my oh. God, he did a hell of a good job. Yes, Yeah, Steven did an awesome job. He put together a great Return of the Jedi cab as well. 
Um, but yeah, so I mean, if that's something that you guys want to do, message Bobby his uh, his comments or his, uh, check out his YouTube channel. Check, message him on Facebook if you really want to. Like, I know he's traced it on paper and sent it out, but um, you know, probably probably not something that we can yep. do for everybody. But it's it's hard to kind of like measure it out, especially the shape of the cab. The shape of the cab is not something that's standard. There's a lot of like curves to it. Uh, and then what he's doing with the with the the panels that he's making, the panels are all custom sized. They're not like measured exactly. He he measured it based on you know what the 27 inch cab was that he was building. So it's not the exact same as the A1 up. That's pretty much everything that we're doing. So uh, yeah, it is, we're it almost is. there. We're almost done. We're Five minutes. It's, it's coming Five along. Minutes. It's coming along. So he's got the back Five frame minutes. that's going in there. Oh, okay. What are you guys doing? Yes. What are you guys doing? Alright. What are you doing, Zach? Mm -hmm. What are you doing? I'd stay like this for a while. As right, you guys see this, I could have done this pre-made, but I want to show live how I did it. So that way you guys won't get confused. Right, right B, remember we were talking about it? Yep. yep. I wasn't going to cut this ahead of time and just do it real quick, but... I want to show a, a lot of a more detail so that way my messenger won't get blown up. Say, what, how'd you do this? How'd you do that? that? You know, say, hey, watch my video. Step, all, all the, step uh, by step. You got three minutes and 45 seconds. Woo! Three minutes, 45 <laughs> seconds? All right. Okay. <laughs> well, again, guess what? You don't have to stand at least five more minutes. All right. Well, we'll go another five minutes if we can. Don't want to rush yeah, the yeah, perfection, yeah. but man, it's look, we're, we're almost there at having the frame at there ready. Yep. Oh, whoops. That's something. Yes. Got that in. Now the screw holes. I want all the retro community to witness this. All right. I show you got all my tips and tricks and secrets. Yes. One more to go. We're good. Let's go. Puzzle, Three minutes. Guys. Three minutes. Three minutes? What the hell? <laughs> I need to cut this into perfection. What? All right. It's coming along, right? What? 27 inch? Look at this. Yeah. Okay. Looking good. All right. It's time for you to start class. Right, so one more piece up and then we're good Whoa. to go. Watch your mind. I need to uh, cut this down real quick. I want to give a huge shout out to my boy Angel. He sent me the link. Angel, aka Disability, you watching? He sent me the link for the DAO. So I was having a hard time finding this DAO, the correct size. But I found a whole bundle deal on Amazon. It's pretty cheap, you know? It's, nice. it's, it's a good deal. You know? I don't skip this DAO. This is this is very important. You know why? Because this is where, where you put the exact measurements for it to be perfectly aligned. You guys, you want to say one last piece of the puzzle? We'll put the other, the other tie panel on. All right, I gotta move this over here a little bit. I need room. Move it over here. You don't want to move too much. The tie panel is gonna. <laughs> All right, here's the last piece of the puzzle. Let me, let me dig this in. I like this comment from Bobby Broadway. Okay, he says, "This in. perfect." This is the gamer equivalent of Bob Villa what? or House Flippers. <laughs> it's like watching that old like school show. It's like remember like Home Improvement. Or watching a an Asian version of Home Improvement featuring right. arcades. <laughs> Love it. All right, we're almost is, at guys. Hour, Mark. This is the puzzle. It's on top. You gotta move oh, your camera up a right little bit. One. That's the wrong one. Wrong side. I know, I will, I will. Hold on a second. All right. Let me this side. All right. Let me move my camera a little bit. If this wasn't a camera. home improvement show, Wait would... would uh, enough? Yes, yes, yes. Good enough? Yep, looks good, man. There we go. We can see the top. Okay. Here it is. Last piece of the puzzle. Let's put this baby on. Man, that's like wider than I expected. Like, can I look at it? Like, holy crap, 27 inch monitor, that's fat. It's like a little, be, little mini this fat boy. This will be an epic build, bro. Oh, you know what? 
I went to do the hole, the down this one. We could get another panel. Oh, <laughs> what the hell? It's okay, at least I got a backup panel. It's okay. He's gonna get one more. But yeah. There it is. Almost, almost. There, there it is. is. Right here, right That's here. That's the right one. Here. It is a big yeah. moida. It's huge. Man, the 27 inch. Bobby always tries to put me to shame because I, I like keeping my stock arcade yeah, monitors. Come on, and he, now. He always, he always tells me like it's too small. It's too, it's, he's always, he was always trying to make me feel bad about my 17 inch stock arcade monitor. Hey, size does matter. <laughs> size does real matter. I need adjust this. But when you put this on, you gotta be. Hold on a second. The dowel is, is split split up, so it's squeezing it to make a small head. The head is too fat, it won't fit in the hole. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, the head is too fat. Yeah? I don't know. I don't know about fat head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is. Come on, come on, get in there, get in there, get in there. Ah. Okay, yeah, one that's I in. This one, you got to be patient. No rest, no rest, no rest. So we still got 50 people that are watching you right now at the two hour mark. That thanks really? everybody for wow. joining in. So for those yeah. that are just tuning in to the last part of this broadcast, we've been spending the last two hours like expanding Bobby's cab. But first off, we had to measure the 27 inch screen. We had to double check to see if we could even decase it. So we weren't successful in decasing the whole monitor. Um, they had too many electronic bits on the inside. And so uh, he's going to do a different version of the mount by having kind of a wood panel behind it and then mounting it to that using best mounts. And then he took the Pixelcade monitor. So we got uh, Bobby got an awesome Pixelcade LED marquee available from the, uh, the Pixelcade folks. I, I left the link in the description so you can check out what Pixelcade is. Um, but that had an exact kind of length frame that's going to fit both the 27-inch monitor and this frame. And so he used that as a template to create all the little cross beams that you had. So no exact measurements, everything going on. So he's running out there. We're a little bit over our two. All right, hour my, mark. Phone, my, phone, yeah. my phone is running out of battery. Let me get, let me get a charger. Run, run, Bobby, before we lose you. My phone is running like out of battery, guys. <laughs> so before Bobby cuts out, I know, I only have like, like... <laughs> yeah. this. Look at him before my battery runs out. Uh. Oh, there it is. I got 1%. Oh, my goodness. 1%. Nice man. Nice man. Good yeah, job. Yeah. Look, we're running out of daylight. Yes. We're running out of daylight. Come on, get in there. Get in there. So you gotta put it in. It's getting too dark. I can't. I can really can't see. I know it's getting. I can. I see it's getting dark at your house. It's getting dark at my house. I have to turn on the lights. But Scott J says that Bobby's skills are unparalleled. That's right. Nobody duplicates better than Bobby. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of great custom scratch <laughs> monitors, but in terms of like duplicating and replicating, you're the duplication king. So good. Really? And I mean. Oh, thank you. Okay, I got one. That's I in. Uh, no. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, one more. I heard a rumor that says you can find holes Hold with your eyes hole. closed, Bobby. Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> you can't find the holes, man. You need to go see the doctor. <laughs> right? Yeah. So once he gets that last one, yes. he should be able to. All yes. right. Screw yes. it down yes. and let me see it. Screw, screw. Screw it down. Yes, yeah. yes, I'm gonna put it down right now. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, one. Okay, two. Two hours with the work for us Three. to see a frame of an arcade one up cab. <laughs> live, live. All the yeah. detail. It, it took it I mean, takes time. Oh see it right here. Here it is. Right here. It takes time. Yeah, to it do does. This. this must guys, this has lots of patience, okay? You can't be rushing it. You got all the detail. I made a lot of mistakes. I learned from my mistakes. Yeah. You know? All right, here it is. Let's do this now. All right. One down. All right. Two, three more. Make sure it's nice, tight. Yeah. Bobby, seriously, you, you, you really want to see this too? I had to, yeah, we're too. at two, two hours and four minutes. And we want to see 
We want to see the, the final. And then we got to give them a teaser of what's up next. We got to tell them what's on the next one. So. All right. Oh, my God. Here we go. Are you guys ready? <laughs> I did miss All a right. step, but I'll show you guys later what I missed. I did miss a step, though. You guys, you guys can catch it. Only the, only the Mark King can catch it. You ready? Let me put this over here. Get better view angle. Better view angle. Then take your phone over there. Show them. Oh, damn, that's wide. Oh, my God. This is insane. Holy she's she's oh, thick. <laughs> my goodness. You guys ready? Show them. The Show moment of truth. Live, you guys witness this live. Let me put the camera around. Easier. Let's see. Setting. Let's all this. Man, this is too much. Too much work for switching the camera. <laughs> it's not a YRK one up anymore. This says this is a Bobby one up. Bobby one up. To die for one up. That's what it is. Look at that. There it is. Think. So it's the the outrun style shape and body expanded to fit a 27 inch monitor inside. It's gonna have a pixel cade on the top too. So I mean, imagine sitting on that. And yeah. so people were complaining about the 17 inch monitor. Man, that's really fat compared to like my stock arcade one. Like, huh? very cool, very nice. What do you guys think? Yes, Put it in the yes. What do you guys think? Here is that go. a good tutorial? It's the money shot. This says we you got a thick cab confirmed. It said it's going to be a two-seater. Look at that. <laughs> uh, it's very cool, man. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Bobby, let's give him a teaser of what's coming up next. So what's the next thing on this project? So we're gonna, we got to go back to actually doing the mount for the actual monitor and then actually mounting the pixel case. So we talked yeah, about it, yeah, but we didn't get to mounting the it. Mount, the so let's do that. What else are we going to do in the next one? Oh, you know what I messed up? I'm not supposed to have this here. It's there on the original outrun. That's the that's there on the original outrun crap. Yeah, I'm gonna take this out. Okay. Are you guys, you're gonna take know, it out completely? Yeah, I'm gonna have to take this out because this I'm gonna put the top the top right here. I'm gonna, I can use this this one up here. You get it? Okay. For the top control panel, this could be yeah. the top control panel right here. You get what I'm saying? Okay. But yes, so the next the, on part three, okay, part part three will be in the monitor. And will be a custom mount for the um, pixel K from Al. I, I, I'm not sure if I want it up front. I'm not, I'm not sure if I want it like right dead center or to the towards to the back. It depends on the it's, monitor. I have to put it on the it's monitor. It's further back. If you look at the stock one, like the, the monitor sits back further yeah, back. Yeah, right here. Into I marked it. it. It's right here. Yeah, because you have see to this? see. Yep, yep, yep. So think about that. And then remember, really like you have that little, like, the little bench area or like, um, the dashboard, right? The dashboard that you're going to be looking about. All right, cool. All right, man. So we're we're two uh, hours and seven minutes over. I Good job, Bobby. This. Awesome. Take him. There it is. To die for. Thanks, guys. We're taking it to the next level. Appreciate you guys watching. Make sure to to like this video and uh, join us for the next one, part three, coming at you soon. Take care, everybody. See you later.